Welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced English Grammar Course. This lesson is on problems with pronouns and, of course, how to solve them. Let's get started. All right. We begin, as always, with a brief lesson overview. We're going to talk about pronouns and pronoun cases because a lot of problems with pronouns arise out of case. We're going to look at rules for pronouns, including subject and object pronouns, weak and strong clauses, reflexive pronouns, who and whom, when to use each one, and whoever and whomever, and who, that, and which, which one to use. And we will end, as always, with some practice. All right, pronouns and pronoun cases. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. That's what it is, that's what it does. Now, they come in three cases, three different forms. Uh, the subject case, also called the nominative case, the object case, also called the objective case, and the possessive case, which doesn't have another name because it doesn't need one. Uh, some examples of subject pronouns are I, he, she, it, we, and they. Object, me, him, her, it, us, and them. Possessive, my and mine. His, her and hers. Its, our and ours. And their and theirs. Now let's look at the rules and how these actually play out. Okay. Pronouns in the subject or nominative case are used as the subject of a verb. So, for example, he does a difficult job. You wouldn't say him does a difficult job or his does a difficult job. No, you would say he does a difficult job. They will be here soon. You wouldn't use them, you wouldn't use their or theirs. Subject pronouns are also used to rename the subject. They follow to be verbs. So, it is I, subject pronoun, who wrote the letter. Or, it is they, again following is, who made the decision. Okay, so when it's following the verb and renaming the subject, use a subjective pronoun, which means if somebody, if you knock on the door and somebody yells, who's there, it's okay, to, it's actually better to say, it is I, than to say, it is me. But we will get that to this. However, in spoken English, most people tend to follow to be verbs with object pronouns. Most English teachers now tolerate this. We don't like it, we give you nasty looks, but we put up with it especially in dialogue, especially in talking. So if you're writing a note and holding it up to the peephole for someone to see, it is correct to write, it is I. If you're just talking, fine. You can say, it's me. That's him at the door now, and it's only me out here. 